All right, what's up everyone? Uh, this video is gonna be on CalCurse. Uh, CalCurse is a terminal calendar client, and this is it here. Uh, the name, of course, comes from the fact that it is an in-curses-based thing, so, I mean, it looks like an in-curses program. Uh, but this thing is really great, really customizable. I've had this on my computer forever, but I've only recently started really getting into it. Uh, and it has a lot of bells and whistles, uh, and it's very compatible with if you use some other kind of calendar uh, software. Um, so if you open it up, it's going to look something like this. I've changed mine a little bit. Um, so you have a calendar. You, if you have it selected, you can you know move with Vim keys or arrow keys around to different days. If you have a day highlighted, it'll show whatever appointments you have on that day. Uh, if you want to add one, you can just uh, uh, press A, and then it asks for like uh, you know a time. So let's say 1,400 hours, um, and it's going to last for two hours. And we're going to call this event, so you can easily add in events uh, here. Um, you don't have to add a time, it could be all day things or whatever, but uh, that's a pretty nice thing. Uh, so one of the uh, nice things about this program is that, let's say you're using, uh, you know, Google Calendar or something like that, or like some kind of Apple software. Well, what you can do is, uh, when, when you're using your web client or whatever, you can actually export uh, your calendar file and you can read it into CalCurse. It's actually pretty easy. You just do like, I think it's CalCurse I um, and that actually, no, maybe I should dev double check. Um, I'm doing real time. Yeah, so just CalCurse I and you can import a file um, and that will basically load all of your Gmail or you know, G Calendar things right into CalCurse or whatever else you use. So if you want to move to this, it's actually pretty easy. Um, and of course you can export it as well so you can um, uh, let's say CalCurs X and then uh, it'll show you all the different stuff you have and you can of course write that to a file so you know we'll run it to you know this or something like that uh, so that's a that's a pretty nice thing to have um, anyways uh, over here the big thing is the to-do list I think I mentioned um, you can change these things or like the order of these tabs around I think to-do list actually starts down here and appointment uh, appointments start up here but I prefer prefer them like this. So the to-do list basically has a big list of all the things that you want to do. You can add them with a, you know, let's say new item. Um, and uh, they all come with priority numbers, one being most uh, important and nine being the lowest. I'm going to give this hypothetical entry nine. Uh, and it's pretty nice if you, you know, have to reprioritize stuff, you can easily change it with a uh, uh, minus or plus. So you can put this up or, up or down or whatever, uh, delete them with D, stuff like that. Um, the other nice thing about these, uh, oops, the other nice things about these uh, is that you can actually edit um, each of, you can, well, you can have notes to each of them. So if you have one selected and you press in, it's going to give you a Vim buffer or a nano buffer or whatever your text editor is, uh, where you can type stuff about it. So uh, actually, what was this? Oh, internet. So, you know, you can, let's say, uh, write whatever you want. Uh, why no internet? Uh, stuff like that. Ugh, never mind, just a telemarketer. Um, so yeah, you can add notes to any entry here. Now I have mine set up so uh, it automatically uses Markdown syntax or, or like all of my Vim shortcuts that I have for Markdown. Uh, you have to do a little configuring. Actually, it's not difficult at all, but I'll just show you what you have to do. Uh, you really just open up your VimRC and put in these two lines. And they say whenever you open a file, which is one of these, you know, uh, slash temp slash calcurse files, or, you know, in the actual notes, if you open them manually, it just reads them as markdown. Uh, so that way I got markdown uh, syntax highlighting and all the other markdown shortcuts I do have. Um, so, you know, I have like quick links and stuff like that. So I don't have to type stuff out. Um, but that's a really nice thing to have. So really I use this now, uh, you know, if I have an idea for a video or something else, I'll just throw an entry here and I'll just go in, you know, if I have an idea for it, I can just open this up, you know, throw the idea in the um, notes and that's that. So it's pretty, it's pretty convenient. Um, so I mentioned you can uh, import uh, calendar files, you can export them as well. Um, so let's say, you know, you have, for whatever reason, you have to, you know, use your calendar somewhere else. Uh, you just do CalCurse um, Z or X, whatever. I always get those letters confused. I don't know. They just end of the alphabet letters that are relatively rare. Uh, but yeah, 
Calcurs X uh, will allow you to export that to some kind of file, uh, and you can load that in whatever you want. Uh, there are also other terminal uh, things that are sort of useful. So like, um, I think the switch uh, capital Q lists out your to-do list and lists out the things you have to do today. Or Calcurs R is like a, just the things you have to do today. I think if you do like R3, that's like within three days or something like that. You can double check in the manual. Uh, I don't use those as much, but these these are useful things. Like if you want to have some kind of bash script that reads from your calendar and gives you other kind of notifications or stuff like that. Um, now the other thing about Calcurse, which is sort of nice uh, compared to other terminal programs, is that you can actually do, well, I mean, this for you autistes, it might be a little annoying, but you don't have to use it. Um, but you can, it does have, uh, configuration files in .calcurs, so you can, uh, you know, you have a comp file where you can set settings, uh, but you don't actually have to do that. You can um, just do capital C, and it will give you this little menu down here where you can adjust the color, um, you can adjust uh, notifications, the layout. Um, so I have this layout. I think this one's default. Um, you know, different stuff like that, even keys. Uh, so this is a pretty nice thing. I, you know, it's pretty convenient if you don't want to have to dig into your RC files to make changes. You can just do it in Calcurs. Um, the, the one downside that, uh, you know, I'm a little unhappy about, but, you know, it's still a great program, is um, the color customization. Like, you can change the background color and the foreground color. But aside from that, n nothing really else. Uh, so this is about as colorful as it gets. But, you know, I'm not, comp I'm not really complaining because I really like, I mean, this is just a great program. Um, so let's see what else. I do have other settings, like for example, if I quit, I just press Q and it closes. Um, by default, I think you have to, um, you know, that's a change I made in it. Like by default, it asks you if you want to quit and asks you if you want to save, but you can change that. I think if you do capital C and then G, you can have general changes. So confirm delete, confirm quit, stuff like that. There's like auto save and other stuff. And you can also, also change like the uh, date format and stuff like that. Um, so all things considered, Calcurse is a pretty useful program. I'm definitely using it a lot more and I'm going to be, I don't know, I'm going to be digging into it even more. And there's probably a whole lot more that, I don't know, I can learn about this thing. But I definitely recommend it to, uh, any, oh yeah, use an arch now. That's a long story, but uh, we'll be on Parabola soon. Um, anyway, so that that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions about it, just check the man page or, you know, you know, uh, ask me or whatever. But yeah, I highly recommend it. Pretty lightweight, pretty useful. Um, so thanks for watching. See you guys.